Hello and welcome to Thailand. Today we're going to be reading this book from Thomas and Friends called Edward and it has a few pages inside about uh, this is a story about Edward who's number two in Thomas Tank Engine and he here he is he's smiling at us and there's the professor now please excuse my voice I have a bit of a croaky voice today because I have a bit of a sore throat um usually on mornings I have sore throat so uh, please excuse me so let's uh, open up the book Edward oh, look there's a little map of the trains I can see I think that's I think it's number four I think that's Gordon that's Toby Percy I think oh there's there we go there's Edward and then we have James over there and then we have Thomas to the trains Edward was getting old his parts were worn out and the big engines called him old iron because he he, he sorry what because he clanked as he worked oh dear one day he was taking some empty cattle trucks to the market come on come on huffed edward as he clanked along the line oh 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 screamed the rattling trucks some cows were grazing in a field by the line edward clattered past the noise and smoke upset them. They twitched their tails and ran. The, the cows charged across the field. They broke through a fence and crashed through a, a few trucks. A coupling rod broke and half of the trucks were left behind. Edward felt that uh, trucks... Uh, Edward felt the trucks jerk suddenly, but he thought... They were being naughty as usual. Those troublesome trucks, he cried. Why can't they come quietly? Edward had reached the next station before he realised what happened. News of the incident uh, quickly uh, reached out to the other engines. Silly old iron! Fancy uh, allowing cows to break his train, laughed Gordon. They wouldn't dare to do that to me. I'll show them, he boasted. Edward pretended to, uh, to not mind, but Toby was cross. Don't worry, Edward. Gordon's very mean to you and calls you names. He doesn't know what you're talking about. This means... Uh, this makes Edward feel a bit better. A few days later, uh, Gordon was through the uh, Edward's station. Mind the cows, he laughed. As he roared along the line, but his driver could see something on the bridge. Slow down, Gordon, he said, and shut off the steam. Ah, said Gordon, it's only a cow, shoo, he hissed, moving slowly onto the bridge. But the cow wouldn't shoo. She, used la uh, she lost half of her car and felt lonely. Gordon stopped. Be off, he hissed, but his cow... But, sorry, but the cow kept walking towards him and moved even louder. Gordon was scared and backed slowly. His driver and fireman tried to send the cow away, but she wouldn't move. The guard told Porter to the nearest station. That must be the bluebell, said Porter. I have cows here. I'll bring it to her now. Moo, blue, uh, blow, bellowed bluebell when she saw the uh, uh, her calf. She just happily. Gordon was very quiet when she uh, when he went home, uh, when he went back to the station. He hoped no one has heard about. Well, 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 chuckled Edward. A big engine like you, afraid of a little cow? I wasn't afraid, God, uh, said Gordon. Uh, I didn't want the poor thing to hurt itself by winning into me. Yes, Gordon, said uh, Edward solemnly. He said he knew the real reason why Gordon stopped. A few days later, Edward was late for James's train. Oh, it's the old iron again, 
grumbled James. He always keeps us waiting. T Thomas and Percy were annoyed. Old iron, they started. Why can Ed and Abby be off? Beat you in a race. Really, huffed James. I should like to see you do it. Edward heard James as he pulled to the station and just smiled. It looks like that James uh, driver felt unwell. His uh, fireman was ringing for a leaf, and James was puffing away without a driver. The fireman ran after him, but James was going too fast. Signal man had to. Make sure there was not another incident. Two boys were standing on the footplate. They were in the way. So they had to move them out of the way. I can't stop. Help! Help! We're coming, cried Edward, as he puffed to every ounce until he had with James's buffer beam. The sex for uh, Edward cab and he made a noise out of the rope and tied it to the end. He was trying to slip over James's buffer. The engine's uh, stretch away and gone. At last he did it. Got him. James and uh, Edward puffed back. So old iron, you caught you after all. I'm sorry. Fade, I don't think I'll have any enough time to read all this, but let's just do the next chapter. James Driver soon got better and went back to work. The naughty boys had such a shock and James started moving. He was happy that I was never going to cold an old iron again. And there's another map of the train stations. And this is the Thomas Library I'm going to re read in other videos. We might read that on uh, maybe the upcoming video. Okay, everyone. It's time to open another door on our chocolate advent calendar. Today is December 16th. Can you see number 16? There it is, right at the very top. Let's see what shape we have this time. Oh, it's wrapped in some more. Tin foil. What do you think it's going to be this time? Pop it out and see. And it's another Christmas cracker.